We asked Anthony Phillips what he would change about the old days going back to Genesis. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. It's a question I ask almost every artist, especially the older artists that have been around for 30, 40, 50 years in the business. They know a lot now, like all of us, and anyone who's watching these videos are usually classic rock fans. They're usually in their late 40s, 50s or early 60s, or well beyond, I'm generalizing of course. But we have all learned things, big lessons. And I ask every artist, if you could go back knowing what you know now, what would you whisper in your early self, your 18 year old self? What would you whisper in his or her ear? We just did a feature with Anthony talking about stage fright, which he touches on again on this clip. So what advice would he give his younger self? What would he change if he could? Oh my God, yeah, I would have told him to tell the others about the stage fright straight away. How old were you in 1970? 18. I was very close to Mike, but I must be honest, our relationships did fracture a bit, not huge fallings out, but we made the mistake of living together in the country cottage and never getting away from each other. And there was a lot of pressure both on Mike and Peter with their girlfriends. We overdid it. And therefore, it's like if you overwork and you don't have enough play time, things do start to get a bit fractured and there was irritations. There were no major fallings out, but you know, Pete became a bit marginalized because he didn't have a power base with an instrument, which is a bit unfair to be honest, looking back at it. I think that um, I, I would, yes, look, another thing I would tell them was, was to say to the others, look, guys, we need to have some time off and get away from each other here because things are getting, <coughs> things are getting a bit stale. Uh, but yes, definitely, uh, uh, definitely to have had the courage to have talked to Mike, who was a good friend, but I just didn't feel, I think, you know, when you're sufficiently frightened of something, you hope it'll go away. That's the rule of thumb. If it's something intangible, if you, if, if something that just suddenly hits you, if it's something that's very tangible that you understand, obviously then you can still uh, sort of bite your lip and tell somebody. But if you think you're beginning to lose your marbles, most people will try and fight their way out of it because they don't want to be seen as being, uh, you know, a crackpot, which is what I think a lot of people think possibly if they don't know about stage fright. So looking back at it, absolutely, I would have told Mike. Um, and I mean, Pete would have been very sympathetic as well. I mean, Pete was an incredibly nice guy. You know, he was a tr quite a troubled person inside. You know, he was very, very shy and not confident. It was only when, he, as I said, he started putting on, on an act uh, on stage that he acquired all that sort of messianic power. I think, you know, Pete and Mike particularly, I'm sure, would have been very, very, very sympathetic. I'm not sure they would have understood but uh, that's not the point, is it? Anthony Phillips has just re-released his 80s pop album, Invisible Men. It's a two CD set, it's remastered, and you can get it now. We'll have more from our chat with Anthony Phillips coming up next Sunday. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. <laughs>